programs offer many languages, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Vladimir Megre presents Anastasia, a reclusive woman of the Siberian forest with timeless wisdom encompassing life, nature, and the universe. Vladimir Megre and The Ringing Cedars of Russia, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. Poralizhia means hello in Meadow Mary, one of the official languages of the Meryal Republic. I am Polina, the joyful people of the Meryal Republic, send you noblest wishes. to part one of a two-part series entitled Vladimir Megre and the Ringing Cedars of Russia. Today we will be exploring the life and vision of Vladimir Megre, who won the Goosey Peace Prize in 2011 and has been listed by the Watkins Mind Body Spirit magazine as one of 100 most spiritually influential living people. The Ukrainian-born Russian author and entrepreneur is known for his best-selling chronicle series entitled The Ringing Cedars of Russia. Written between 1996 and 2010, the series introduces spiritual and healthy lifestyle concepts in an original and compelling manner. The books have been translated into over 20 languages and more than 10 million copies have been sold worldwide in the last 20 years. Vladimir Mikre presents Anastasia, a reclusive woman of the Siberian forest with timeless wisdom encompassing life, nature and the universe. The books have inspired an ever-expanding group of adherents that explore a way of life in tune with the universal principles of balance and harmony. These readers have dedicated themselves to understanding the spiritual relationship between themselves and nature. To many, Vladimir Migre's works are a vehicle helping them realize their own innermost feelings as to what life is really supposed to be about. Concepts regarding our existence are presented with a heartfelt sincerity that millions of readers have strongly resonated with. Казалось бы, простой вопрос. В чем смысл жизни? Так и остается неразрешенным. А он – смысл жизни в истине, радости и любви. Из Анастасия, книга 1, из сборника Владимира Мигре 
свинящей кедре России. Владимир Бекре was born in the Chernigov region of Ukraine in 1950. His earliest years were spent under the watchful care of his grandmother. During his childhood, he would observe his grandmother as she prepared age-old remedies for the local people of their small village to alleviate their everyday ailments. The second book of the Ringing Cedars of Russia series is believed to be about Vladimir's own teenage years. He made periodic visits to a Christian monk named Father Fyodorit at the Trinity Sergei Monastery near Moscow in Russia. Although he had only a few theological discussions with Father Fyodorit, in retrospect, Vladimir believes he was profoundly affected by the holy atmosphere of those visits. There he had his first experiences of responsive intuition which would be further awakened later in the Siberian taiga with the help of the spiritual guide Anastasia. From a young age, Vladimir Migre was adventurous, and at 16 he chose to leave home and live independently. He enjoyed traveling and studying photography and cinematography. Eight years later, he found himself thousands of miles from Ukraine, living in Novosibirsk, on the Obi River of south-central Russia. Novosibirsk, Russia's third largest city, is the western gateway to both Asia and the expansive wilderness of Siberia. Vladimir Migre worked filming and directing documentaries for various clients. He married had a family, and became immersed in the world of business. Buying goods, he would then transport them into the Siberian interior, even as far as the Arctic Circle via the Ob River. During these business trips, there was always time spent waiting for the cargo barges to unload. At these remote stations, Vladimir loved the freedom to wander amongst the snow-capped cedars, inhaling the sweetly fragrant air alone in thought, away from the noise of the world. It was on one such journey that he took a contemplative stroll through the taiga and met two elderly men by the river bank. The men spoke of the vibrating cedars and how these trees, particularly their cones, have proven to possess amazing healing properties. While he originally dismissed the claims, Vladimir's thoughts kept returning to the subject. This prompted him to do some research, and he found evidence to back the man's story. Meanwhile, Vladimir Migre had become relatively successful in the business world and was president of the Association of Siberian Entrepreneurs. He was always quick to spot and explore lucrative opportunities when they arose. On his next expedition up the river, he hoped more than anything to find out more about the ringing cedars phenomenon. In his now famous book Anesthesia, Vladimir Migre describes the amazing meeting with the hermit woman who agrees to show him the prized healing cones of the ringing cedars. This is the incredible beginning of the introduction to Anastasia's wisdom, which becomes the central thread of the Ringing Cedars of Russia series. Let's take a few moments to contemplate the divine within. We'll be right back here on Supreme Master Television.
Welcome back to Vladimir Megre and the Ringing Cities of Russia, part one of two. A year after initially hearing about the Ringing Cedar from two elderly gentlemen, Vladimir Megre returned to look for them, hoping to bring some of the prized Ringing Cedar with him on his ship. This is when he met Anastasia. Я провел с Анастасией на таежной полянке вместе ее обитания три дня. Она оказалась интересным и не совсем обычным человеком. Складывалось впечатление, что Анастасия помнит всех предков своего рода, начиная от сотворения мира, может рассказать о них в мельчайших подробностях. И через знание своих предков ей известно, как рождались и погибали разные цивилизации на нашей планете. Еще она рассказывала о древнейших плечах и обрядах актуальных и сегодня. Удивительно, что она знает и о нашей современной жизни, не в деталях, конечно, но характеристики дает интереснее. Из «А на земле быть добро» эссе Владимира Мигри. Моя знакомая и любимая Анастасия живет в сибирской тайге, глубоко в сибирской тайге. Для того, чтобы... Когда она хочет есть для того, чтобы получить пищу, ей достаточно сделать небольшой знак рукой. И белки начинают складывать к ее ногам орехи. Масса других зверей, которые мы считаем диким, дикими и которые живут на ее территории, выполняют ее поручение. Таким людям, как Анастасия, достаточно, если они захотят скушать яблоко, им достаточно протянуть ему руку, сорвать яблоко и кушать. Для того, чтобы человеку, живущему в нашем современном мире, скушать яблоко, нужно встать рано утром, сходить на работу, получить деньги, потом сходить в магазин и купить это яблоко. The time spent with Anastasia caused a profound personal transformation within Vladimir Migre. He felt that he could no longer continue with the life he had been leading. It came as a great surprise to everyone that knew him when he dramatically turned his back on the world of business to concentrate full-time on the knowledge and profound teachings of Anastasia. He had never written much before, but he was so enthusiastic to share his experience with others that he composed Anastasia with ease. This was the first of what was to become a 10-book series all sparked by his magical encounter in the Siberian taiga forest. Initially, Vladimir Migre's book received little interest from publishers. With almost no income, he traveled on the Moscow metro, selling one copy at a time to anyone who would care to listen. Eventually, he found a publisher for Anastasia, which then went on to become a remarkable success. The book Anastasia is not only a personal odyssey, but a manifesto in pure natural living, proposing a scenario in which humanity returns to a Garden of Eden state by disentangling itself from the ineffective ways of the material world. Anastasia explains that only by living in accordance with harmonious universal principles can humanity finally achieve lasting peace and prosperity. Her wisdom through Vladimir Migre's books has been inspiring countless people to return to a self-sufficient lifestyle through small-scale farming of plant-based produce that is holistic, healthy, and also reconnects people with nature. Anastasia has an exceptional way of life, living totally within nature, with just a few items of clothing and dwelling in harmony with all of the forest inhabitants. Lovingly, the squirrels not only provide her with a supply of cedar nuts, but also collect berries and mushrooms for her to eat. Anastasia's state of total purity attunes her with the natural elements 
enabling tremendous natural powers that leave Vladimir at times overwhelmed. Next week, we will explore in more detail the enlightening wisdom of Anastasia as presented by Vladimir Migre in Anastasia and the Ringing Series of Russia series of books. For more information on Vladimir Migre, please visit vmigre.com. Noble viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company today. Join us again on Sunday, September 6th, for part two of Vladimir Migre and the Ringing Cedars of Russia. May the Divine Presence be your guide each and every day. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash MOS. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule et suprememastertv.com baroblique MOS. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada MOS. Ranchangan kami, nawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan schedule dan suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan MOS.